Good morning. Today is the 20th, and I'm going to put on some lipstick and share with you why my 18th and 19th of May were discombobulated. You know, sometimes the spirit of confusion or just life gets into high gear and you, um, Hold on. Let me put a little bow in so I look a little more red here. There we go. You know, uh, you can't blame everything on a demon. I've learned that the hard way. But uh, when you are trying to do God's will and you are praying and pushing for God's will and you're ready to do it and you're ready to stand up and say, okay, Enough is enough. I'm tired of being kicked around, pushed down, and sat down on. Uh, I'm going to stand up and do something now. And the enemy can see that. He will bring his little minions your way to bring confusion and disorder. So I was going to redo my 18 and 19 of May videos. And I thought, no, they're pretty darn good. I said some good stuff in there. So let's just. Start with a clean slate today. It's May 20th. Let's start in, in Psalm 7 and just know that, yeah, even Trace gets attacked. Yeah, even Trace gets thrown off her balance and it's okay. What was the worst thing that happened? I read the wrong scripture. Oh, well, I still got God's word in me. I still know God loves me and I'm still happy and victorious and living a, a free life free of bondage. So who won? I did. <laughs> Psalm 7. O oh Lord, my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me, or they will tear me like a lion and rip me to pieces with no one to rescue me. O oh Lord, my God, if I have done this, or there is guilt on my hands, if I have done evil to him who is at peace with me, or without cause have robbed my foes, my asleep. Then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Let them trample my life to the ground and make me sleep in the dust. Say la. So it is. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Rise up against the rage of my enemies. Awake, my God. Decree justice. Let the assembled peoples gather around you. Rule over them from on high. Let the Lord judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, according to my integrity, O Most High. That's a long one. O righteous God, who searches minds and hearts, bring to an end the violence of the wicked and make the righteous secure. My shield is God, Most High, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, a man who expresses his wrath every day. If he does not relent, he will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons. He makes ready his flaming arrows. He who is pregnant with evil and conceives trouble gives birth to disillusionment. He who digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit he has made. The trouble he causes recoils on himself. His violence comes down on his own head. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. So if you've got people in your life that are operating under a bad spirit, half of them don't even know it. And they get around you who's a prayer warrior like me and you're operating in the high levels of the kingdom of God. And all I mean by that is that you just want Jesus more than you want anything else. Their spirits will start warring against you and they don't even know it and then you pray against that and say lord save my roommate save my co-workers save my employer save my family my family will be saved i will win my family i will win my husband i will win my resources in jesus name you say that out loud guess what the lord will literally cause violence down on their own head. I'm going to 
to see victory today. I feel it. Let's see what it says right here. It was gangster. It said something about this. Is, this is exactly where I'm at right now. Rise up, O Lord, in rage. Awake, my God. Decree justice. Rule over them with, from on high and let the Lord judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness. All you have to do to be righteous is ask God for help. Say, Lord, I feel gay. Help me. Lord, I feel transgender. Help me. Lord, I'm addicted to meth. Help me. Lord, I love whiskey. Help me. And he will. And now put it down. Assume that he's helping you and walk the other way. His help is there. Now go to groups where people have overcome and stop being alone and stop isolating. You have to walk away and go be with people in that lifestyle that are doing victorious things. You can't do this in a vacuum. I'm talking to myself right now. I need to go to a meeting today. I need to go to prayer rooms today. It's my, it's I don't have to work till four. You can't do this alone, guys. You cannot fight God. You cannot fight evil and your own desires alone. You need people in your life. You need support. You need fellowship, you need to laugh, you need to pray, you need to war. You cannot be home alone all day and expect to fight addictions. Addiction grows in lonely times and in darkness. Homosexuality grows when you're alone. Go be with straight people, okay? That's how you do it. You ask God for help, assume that he's helping you, and then go walk the other way. He's helping you. He's already helping you. If you asked him for help, he wants to help you. He wants you to do his will. So you know you're already getting the power. This is new. This is this is not me right now, guys. I did not plan on talking about this at all. I'm talking to someone right now. I used to have a trust issue with men, so I attracted a lot of lesbians. And I was like, God, I'm attracted to men. Why are all these lesbians after me? He said, because you don't trust men. You're attracted to them, but you don't trust them. Because you were molested as a little girl. And the spirit realm knows that. I said, okay. I trust men. Help me. Heal me. I repent. He said, okay. Proverbs 20. Wine is a mocker and beer a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. Oh no, dear friend, you need to drink the real wine of the Holy Ghost. You know what that is. Little thing I like to call communion. And do yourself a favor and get you a big glass of water and a saltine cracker, a cookie, a potato chip. Eat Jesus' flesh. Drink his blood. I don't care if it's water or Diet Coke, and make him proud, and you will feel the fruit of taking communion and remembering what he did for you, okay? A king's wrath is like the roar of a lion. He who angers him forfeits his life. It is to a man's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. A sluggard does not plow in season, so at harvest time he looks but finds nothing. The purpose of a man's heart are deep waters, but a man of understanding draws them out. Many a man claims to have unfailing love, but a faithful man who can find? The righteous man leads a blameless life. Blessed are his children after him. When a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure? I am clean and without sin? When you're in Christ, you can't say that. 
differing weights and measures, the Lord detests them both. Now let's go to the end. The glory of young men is their strength. Gray hair, the splendor of the old. Blows and wounds cleanse away evil, and beatings purge the inmost being. Go ahead and read the whole Proverbs 20. It's long. We're going to start in Genesis 7 today. Let's see what Noah's up to. We're reading Noah. No one else on earth could ever love me. Love me like the way you do. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and two of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven of birds and buggies and butterflies. And Noah did all the Lord commanded him. And Noah and his family entered the ark to escape the waters of the flood. In the 600th year of Noah's life, on the 700th day, the springs of the great deep bursted forth, and the floodgates of heaven were open, and rain fell on the earth. They had never seen rain, you guys. God had never rained on the earth yet. For 40 days and 40 nights. That is a cleansing season. You know, it takes 40 days to get rid of a whole generational group of flies. I think flies can be alive three or four generations at a time. Yeah. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth more than 20 feet. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out. Only Noah was left, and those with him in the ark. The waters flooded the earth for a hundred and fifty days. Yeah, that's why there's watermarks on the mountains, guys. So be grateful, I guess, that we're not flooded anymore. That's why we got the rainbow. I don't know what, oh yeah, maybe we didn't have rain before that, so we didn't have to worry about the rainbow. Now we're going to go to Matthew, see what Jesus is saying today. Judges, judging others, don't judge. If you have room in your heart to love, you don't have room to judge. And if you're busy judging, you don't have room to love. Found that one out from a mentor. For in the same way that you are judging others, you yourselves will be judged. Ask, seek, knock. Keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking until <clears throat> that thing changes. The narrow and wide gates. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many think that they're going to find God in heaven through Buddha, through New Age, through yoga. Let me tell you something. Jesus gave us life. And then he gave us the path to eternal life and said, Jesus is the way. Here's the cheat sheet. Except Jesus, he died and went to hell for you. That's what he did on the cross. If you don't accept Jesus and his gift of going on the cross for you, then why did Jesus need to die for you? If you don't accept the free gift and the golden ticket into the chocolate factory, you don't get to come into the chocolate factory. Please accept the free gift. I know you're intellectual. I know you're an intelligent, intuitive person, but this is an easy test. Please receive your gift. Don't be a schmuck. A tree and its fruit. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing and appear to be Christians, but by their fruit you will recognize them. 
Likewise, every good fruit that bears good trees that bear good fruit, every tree that doesn't bear good fruit will be put into the fire. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom, only he who does the will of my Father. Many will say to me in that day, but Lord, didn't we prophesy and drive out demons and perform miracles? And I'll say, well, yeah, you picked up all my spirit gifts, but you never wanted to get to know me. You loved my ways, but you didn't love me. So don't be fooled by anointings and gifts. If you don't have love, you don't got nothing. The wise and foolish builders. Now, one person built their house on the rock. Another built theirs on sand. And then the storms came. And guess which house stood? The one that built on the rock, which is the truths of God's laws, like gravity, like spiritual truths. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as the teachers of the law. <laughs> I guess they didn't teach with any authority. Okay, we are back in verse, let's go to second. Thessalonians and see what Paul said to them. I want to see how he talked to them. So I'm just giving you a guide, a reading guide, and I'm highlighting. But you dig in there and read. I dig in these things and read, okay? I spent years reading, and it's fun. Okay, to the church of Thessalonica, to the church of YouTubers, and God and Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace, anointing, authority, assistance, and peace, which is calm beyond your own understanding, to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We always thank God for you, church of YouTubers, Brothers and sisters, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more. And the love every one of you YouTubers has for each other is increasing. Therefore, among God's churches, we boast about your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and trials you are enduring. All this is evidence that God's judgment is right, and as a result, you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you YouTubers are suffering. God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you. Mm. Second time today I've heard that. And give relief to you who are troubled and to us as well. This will happen when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven in blazing fire with his powerful angels. He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. They will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord. From the majesty of his power on the day he comes to be glorified in his holy people and to be marveled at among all those who have believed. This includes you, YouTubers, because you, YouTubers, believed our testimony to you. With this in mind, we constantly pray for you, that our God may count you worthy of his calling, and that by his power you may fulfill every good purpose of yours, every act prompted by your faith, we pray this so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you, YouTubers, and you in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something about grace. Grace is like having this wine energy bubble around you, okay? So I'm going to pray. I know it's Thursday, but it feels like Friday to me. I'm going to pray the spirit of grace on us right now. Father, I pray 
that you would bring a new level or more levels of your grace that you gave me in 2009. I pray for a new download and new words to speak and new faith for this next season that I'm going into in Jesus name. And I pray for my viewer right now, grace, your anointing, your authority, and your assistance for everything they need for this season in their life right now today. And I speak to my mountains and say, mountains be removed, family be restored, finances be increased, extreme blessings. Husband, come to me now. And devil, get your hands off my husband be released. Okay. Happy Thursday. Love you, cuties.